Welcome back to MATLAB tutorial on Tube Fulcrum. This session is on the structure data type in MATLAB. A structure is a named collection of data representing a single idea or object. Inside a structure are a list of fields, each being a variable name for some sub-piece of data. Structures are similar to arrays in that they contain multiple data. But the main difference is, instead of an index to each piece of data, we have a name and instead of every piece of data being the same type, we can have a different type for each field. A structure is used to represent information about something more complicated than a single number, character or boolean can do. For example, a student can be defined by his or her name, GPA, age, ID, etc. Each of these pieces of information should be labeled with an easily understood descriptive title and then combined to form a whole structure. Structures gives us a way to combine multiple types of information under a single variable. The nice thing is that structures allows us to use human readable descriptions for our data. This is almost always a better way to go than to use a group of arrays or even a cell array. So let's write the code and understand how to handle structures in MATLAB. So let's see how to create a structure for a student that is holding the details of say name and ID. So for this, first you need to specify the structure variable name. So let's take it as student. So student is the structure name. Use a dot operator and then add the fields to your structures. Fields are nothing but the details of the student here. So we have a detailed name. We are going to add the name of the student. So student is the structure variable and name is the field name. Initialize it with the name of a student. So you can give any name. Now let's add one more field to our structure. So let's say the ID of the student. So same procedure, structure variable name, dot operator, the field. So let's say ID. Initialize it with a value. So we have created a structure student and it has got two fields name and id so if you give the structure name student you could get the details of the structure that you have created so struct is the data type with three with the fields that is we have created our structure with two fields name and id we have initialized the name xxx and id is 123 so this is how you create a structure and you add fields to your structure. So if you check the data type of student, that is student is a structure variable name. You could see it is struct. So struct is the data type. So as seen, the student structure is combining data of various types. The name is of string type and ID is of the double data type. And they are of various length. So name is a 1 cross 3 vector whereas id is a 1 cross 1 scalar. So now if you use the whose command onto the structure variable student it will give you the details like how your structure is stored, how many bytes it took, what is the class of your structure etc. So here you could say the structure student is stored as a 1 cross 1 data and it is taking 366 bytes. Now suppose if you want to store the details of multiple students, we then create an array of structures. Suppose we need to store the two students information and say we are going to create a vector of 1 cross 2 structures. So specify the student that is the structure variable name then specify the in then the dot operator and then you could add the fields as we have done previously so let's give some name then let's add one more field to the same student 
that is let's call it as our first student id equal to say 123 now we will add one more student so student the structure variable should be the same and the number of fields should also remain the same so now we will add this to the uh, second location so dot again the same fields you have to use equal to you can give any name then say one more field because the first student has two fields the name and id so the second student should also have the same fields so now if you simply type your structure name you could say the structure is organized as a one cross two structure with two fields name and id so when we created the structure with student of 1 this is added to first row first column then when we say student of 2 this is added to the first row second column so if you want to access the details individually if you give the command student of 1 it will get you the student details at the location first row first column that is a first student so if you want to access the second student so we'll specify it as student dot 2 now if you want to access the particular fields say you want to access the student name of the first student so student of 1 then the dot operator specify your field name it will give you the student name which was present at the first row first column suppose if you want to access the name field of both the student then you could simply give like student dot name this will give you the name fields from both the students that is student of 1 as well as student of 2 same way you could try for id as well so if i give student dot id it will give you the field id details of both the student 123 was the first student id and 11 was the second student id now we have created a vector say if you want to create the details of four students and you want to arrange it as a two cross two matrix same process you can adopt so let's say student specify the index so if i say 1 comma 1 the student will be added on to the first row first column say name initialize it with a data we'll add one more field so dot id equal to give some id the next student we are going to add so we are going to create a two cross two matrix so this student let's say it is added to the first row second column so same number of fields and same field you have to add equal to let's give any name so student again 1 comma 2 dot id let's give some id next student we will be adding to the second row so student let's say second row first column same field so name is equal to any name you could give one more field we have to add for the same student so second row first column id equal to some id you can give one more student we have and that should be on to the second row second column so that we have a two cross two structural array name so we have created a structure of two cross two so if you give the structure variable name you could see we have created a two cross two structural array with fields name and id now how do you access the fields suppose you want to access the student 1 comma 1 details it will give you all the field details of the student that is present in the first row first column 
if you want to access a particular field student of 1 comma 1 say if you want to access only the id it will give you the id information so like this you could access any student detail suppose you want to access the id of all the students how do you do that student dot id this will give you the id of all the four students So this is how you create structure in MATLAB. We will make use of struct function as well, which we'll be discussing in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. And please don't forget to tap the bell icon. You'll get notified whenever we upload our new videos. Thank you.